Hello, this is a Beckstein Model 3 upright piano made in about 1900. The case works in reasonable condition. It doesn't seem to have faded by with the lid being kept up. Very often when that's kept up you find that the colour is different here from behind there. But uh, the, both of this side and the other side of the fall seem to be very similar. And there's not a lot missing. There's a uh, what we call a biscuit missing here. Actually it's in the, it is there though. We've got it in a packet so we can put that back on affectionately called a biscuit. I think it's a nice name. There's the biscuit on the other side. There's also a bit of trim come off here but uh, that's also in a packet so we can put that back on. Um, well obviously we could French polish the piano. It look, would look stunning with this is a beautiful worn up veneer. So that's something that certainly could beautiful styling. Um, I love these pianos. They're particularly good instruments. Um, made at really the height of the German piano in 1900, I think it's one of the, the best periods for German pianos. Well, it go right through to uh, 1930s with excellent pianos, and just even now, West Germany is the uh, is the obviously the, the centre for making excellent pianos. So it's scratched a bit. We can certainly improve the case, uh, or f or French polish the whole thing. But that takes about 65 hours on an upright piano, so it's a long job. But we can certainly do it. Um, if if you would like that done, if we're going to do the restoration on the piano in general. The client's wanting us to assess it with a view to restoration. It's come in with this stool which matches very well. It's actually an Art Deco mini stool which was made to match an Eve Staff mini. This is an Eve Staff mini piano. Um, it's one that we don't really sell. We actually use it as a tabletop to put things on. It has a drop action so the key is very short and doesn't give a lot of touch control. Now we've kept it because it's actually very useful for us as a tabletop to put things on. Now the Beckstein's got a really good set of ivory keys which are almost perfect but if you look behind the keys here you might be able to detect it on the video. Um, it's strong evidence of moth damage. In fact there should be a felt going along there and I think the moths have eaten most of it. So if you look Underneath this name board here, as it's called, we'll have a look and see how much damage there is and we can see that it's almost entirely been eaten. And if we look under the keys as expected, the felts, that felt there as you can see has almost been almost disintegrated and um, the key dips very great on some of them and that's because of the felt being um, all eaten up there and the front, the centre rail's not too bad this balance rail but I imagine we'll have to replace those two and if you look at the felt at the back here too that's been chewed up. There doesn't seem to be too much moth damage in the action or the rest of the piano which is encouraging but they have eaten some felt here as you can see on the dampers um, so we'll treat the whole piano and obviously put moth killer on it just in case and you can apparently prevent moth damage by using lavender spray or cedar wood uh, if you're familiar with treating for moths and you've got other ideas, please do let us know. We're always useful when there's videos when people comment and uh, if we get something wrong also, please let us know. I'm now looking at the tuning pins because uh, very often on the Model 3, models basically the old style Model 1 to 5 uh, Roman numerals, the 6 to 10 don't seem to have so much problem with the rest plank, but the, the wood behind here with central heating, it very often, even if you put bigger pins in, they still don't hold and we very often change the rest plank, that's the wood behind here. It's a common job to do because the pianos are very high quality. There's a mark put here and I'm not sure what it is. I did test the tuning pins for tightness here and they're beginning to get loose but the whole piano is actually pretty much in tune and nearly at concert pitch. Let's have a quick listen. <laughs> These, these are actually touching and they're not setting off because I think that's to do with the moth eating the keys. You can see some actually moth, moth trying to get at that felt there. These are recovered hammers by the way. Uh, you can see that because they're not quite as tidy as new hammers. Um, you can see they're not, maybe you won't pick it up on the video but it's not quite matching there and you can see the wood doesn't, it looks as though it's been stuck on. There's also some difference here. So the recovered hammers, they're quite pleasant felts but there's one actually that's um, and I think possibly related to ha having been recovered, the wood's weakened and it's actually snapped off. Someone's tried gluing it on. The actual hammer was inside the piano but it, it won't glue on and I've talked to my uh, chief technician who is always doing working on hammers and uh, it just needs replacing. It's hard to get an exact match obviously 
Um, we'd like to replace all the hammers. There's a lot of work to do on this piano, as you'll probably get gathering. And uh, I think, you know, it's uh, the wonderful instrument at the end of the day. If you listen to the tone, uh, whether it's worth doing or not, is something which you have to decide. It'll certainly sound as good as any new piano, and we can get the touch playing as good as a new piano, but uh, it's a huge amount of work. That damper's uh, miss. I took the damper off because I wanted to see if it was the spring broken. So sometimes the spring's just got dislodged and, or not put back on properly, but in fact this is broken, you can see it's not working at all. So you have to take the, the bushing cloth out of there and then put the new spring in and then make sure it's the same t tight. And it's not too tight, otherwise you feel it too much in the touch. So that's the, where the bushing cloth is, you have to take that completely out and put a new spring in and put new bushing cloth, that's made to a point so that it can be pushed through that hole. The return tapes here you can see are breaking, um, they break very often when you take them off and put them back on again. That one's been replaced then, some others have been replaced, but normally we would just replace them all and then obviously they're not going to break because they're new tapes. Our removers have left the piano on a blanket because there's something wrong with the casters. The, the gauze at the back seems to be in good condition, though someone's made a hole in the bottom of it. I'm not sure why that should be. So this is a fine Bechstein Model 3 upright piano, and uh, one of the best uprights ever made. But it has a lot of work. It's uh, mainly, well, the moth damage, first of all, was uh, obviously something which we got to do. I'm trying to write down the essential work here. I would say very likely we need to a new rest blank. Um, it's so common with models uh, 1 to 5, which made before 1902, that they do have this suffer problems with the rest blank, and we've done many of them just replacing them. But obviously that's a big job. Um, it's a fine piano, but it also needs uh, lots of felts replacing because of moth damage. It needs treating to make sure the moth is dead, obviously, as well. Um, so the essential work, I would say, I've said consider new rest plank. I'd always say always change the rest plank. But as it's holding itself quite well in tune, and A439 is just slightly flutter concert, uh, that's encouraging, really. Uh, there's lots of regulation work to do because the... The moth has, dam has eaten all the felts in the keys, it's, uh, there's obviously well out of regulation. So we need to redo everything there. Um, the tapes need replacing, there's a missing hammer. Um, we can see the, the weighting down weight is generally extremely low. Um, so that's something as you see, and very varied. So that one isn't low, there's 55, 48, but then we've got 35. So it's not suitable for studying on really. You need weighting of uh, what you'd expect on other pianos. You can certainly make this into a piano that you could use for concert use, uh, for, for, stu for study I mean, and no problem with that, but it, it's just the amount of work involved. So uh, we'll have to try and think about that and obviously I'm going to write an assessment of the cost of it in an email as well. So th thank you very much for listening. I'll just play the piano to get some idea of tone. I won't be talking during the playing of the piano, just listening to the piano itself. Mm -hmm.